How is it going guys? So in this video we're going to be talking about how to bring in assets or things because they're not assets yet things from other blank files into the true assets objects section so we're specifically going to be bringing in uh, meshes from other blank files so in the previous video we talked about how to create materials but in this video we are going to be bringing in things uh, rather than creating custom things from a text directory. So, with the True Assets panel open, we just click Create Assets from Directory, and then we can head to wherever we are saving, oh, marks, wherever we've got our blend files. So I've got mine in an old blend files file. Um, and what we would do here is we decide on what we want to bring in. So. Thumbnail shading, what does this mean? The thumbnails that appear in your asset library, um, whether you want them to be the solid view, material view, or EV. Uh, solid is fastest, so we're going to be using solid today. It is the fastest thumbnail generation that, it, that you can get. Uh, material is slower, and EV is slower because it needs to open that file up, uh, render the icon out in EV, or render the object out in EV, and in the material view. So, I specifically only want to bring meshes in. I'm not too bothered about curves, surfaces, cameras, grease pencil, volumes, or anything like that. Um, and this little option here, clear materials and no groups before writing objects. What this will do is, is if it accidentally brings in anything it shouldn't, um, so any materials get brought into the scene that shouldn't get brought in, it will automatically clean them up and remove them before finalizing the asset, uh, asset browser materials. So we can select this and we can choose the minimum amount of nodes to bring in. Um, node groups, this will uh, be any node groups that you've got in your material node groups. So if you've got any custom sort of like weathering node groups or you know imperfection node groups or something like that from one of the many talented uh, creators on the Blender market. I know there's a lot of them um, available out there. They'll do that for you. Worlds, any custom world shaders that have been set up in any blend files, we can do that too. Um, and then what we'll want to do is, if we've already got some files that we've brought in, we can either skip them, uh, override them, so it'll rewrite them, um, or create new. And then this final option here, maximum time per file, this is in seconds, so 600. If you have a very large blend file, as some of these are, you can see, is, oh, excuse me, a couple of gigs in some of them. Um, it will only spend a maximum amount of 10 minutes in there. You can change this to whatever you want. Um, so we can change this to 300 seconds, which is five minutes. And then it will only spend five minutes in those blend files. So if you've got a huge directory of blend files, um, and some of them are large, they've got like hundreds of objects in it or materials or whatever it is, you don't want to be spending too much time on that because it'll just bog down. Um, it'll cap out and then you could run it again and get it to skip the ones that it's already done, for example. Uh, so in this one in particular, I want to bring all of these in. So we don't need to select them. We don't have to select them. Uh, we can just leave it to pull everything from this directory, or we can choose individual items. So if we just wanted to do these ones, we can select them ones. Uh, or if we just wanted to do one, we can select them, double tap and go in. But we're going to let it do all of them for this one. Uh, so all we do now is just click this button here, create assets from directory, and let it do its thing. Right, now that's all done, we can just refresh this object section and you can see it's brought in all the objects that we asked it to. Um, and now you can just drag and drop your objects into this scene and they will have their materials on them from when they were brought in. Um, but as we can see, we haven't brought any additional materials in from what we've already created from our create materials function. So that's that video guys. Uh, in the next one, we're gonna be discussing uh, how to create worlds uh, from HDRI directories. Um, so again, a short one for me this time. I will see you guys in the next one.